It's always quite interesting to see what YouTube recommends for me to watch. From what I understand, they track the types of things that you watch most and try to suggest related materials. If your experience is like mine, you're often amused uh, at what they deem related. Uh, but on this occasion, the subject matter was a match. It was just from the opposing point of view of a celebrity atheist. Um, take a quick look at this clip as I viewed it a couple of days ago. This is Bill Maher speaking with a believer in the film Religulous. God is not that busy where he can't spend time listening to you when you really want to talk to him anytime. If Santa Claus can hit every house in the world... Well, on I don't night, believe in Santa Claus. Of course not. That's ridiculous. That's <laughs> right. one man flying all around the world and <laughs> dropping presents out of chimney. That's ridiculous. Right. One man hearing everybody murmur to him at the same time. That I get. Now, I must assume Bill is using his comedic wit here in an attempt to make this man feel stupid rather than sharing this as an actual objection. I mean, let's get this straight. We claim that God is the first cause of everything. Everything that exists. Uh, the universe, the stars, galaxies, solar systems, black holes, the earth, all living creatures, all the elements on the periodic table, DNA coding, and yes, even Bill Maher. See, God even has a sense of humor. Um, we claim God is also all-powerful, all-knowing, ever-present, without beginning or end. But Bill's big hang-up is that it's a crazy notion that one dude can hear everybody. Seriously? No. No way. If it weren't asking Mr. Marr and others that think like him to commit an idolatry, I might be tempted to challenge them to describe a god that sounds reasonable to them. I get that Bill doesn't believe in any gods at all, but just as a mental exercise, what attributes would he assign to a reasonable, believable god? Obviously, a believable god wouldn't be able to hear everybody. Um, but I would be interested in some form or fashion as to what he, she, or it would be like. In what ways would it be like the Christian God? In what ways would it be different? See, for me, describing anything less than the all-powerful version that we see interacting with us throughout biblical history is to, is to describe a lower life form unworthy of our worship and adoration. Instead, what we've done in this instance is to describe a hypothetical being that though a bit more intelligent, possibly more advanced and developed than us, is just the next creature up on the galactic food chain. I personally don't find that very impressive, but something tells me Bill would be amongst the first in line to bow before such an alien visitor.